Hi, welcome to Shop Stop. Today we want to talk about building attachments for three-point uh, hookup on your tractor. These, uh, these hookups that you're going to build, there, there are standards set up that will make sure that, that each implement will hook up to a tractor no matter who makes it, whether it's a short liner, or whether it's a major manufacturer, or whether it's home built. Now these standards, Randy will show you, are primarily dimensions. Yeah, the main thing you got to worry about with the three-point hitch is the width that you're going to be looking at here and where those pins are going to go. So the placement of these two pieces is going to depend on whether you're going to pin between them like we've done here or you're going to have the pin on the inside or the outside of that piece. And the other dimension that's going to be important is the mast height or the distance from these pins up to this third pin. Essentially to make a three-point hitch or implement attachment work correctly, you have to have that little triangle set up right. That way it will hook onto the tractor on the three-point arms there. Okay, now these, uh, each tractor, depending on, is a horsepower dependent, it has a different category. ASABE has standards established to, for pin size to category. So if your tractor is, say, 100 horsepower, it's going to be in a different category than, say, a tractor with 180 horsepower, and these pin sizes will change. And that is set up on a table that will be referenced on the, on the SunUp website. The important thing to know about standards is the standard is in place so that different companies can build attachments and they all hook together. Just like our PTO shaft, we have standards for that so that those splines will connect and anybody can build PTO shafts and they will then attach to the tractors. So check those standards out or check uh, one of your three-point hookups and measure it to get uh, get your dimensions so you can build your own attachments for your tractor. Key thing is if you're going to measure another one, remember that there are tolerances around these things and so it doesn't have to be real rigid dimensions. So make sure that you've got something that's going to fit. Hope that helps you. That does it this time on Shop Stop. We'll see you next week.